Hi everyone and welcome to the New Leaf Podcast. This is my podcast about knitting, crocheting, and my journey as a full-time knitwear and crochet designer. My name is Garmin and my website is newleafdesigns.nl and I will put some of the other things right here on the screen. And uh, today I've really been taking it easy because yesterday I was at Kreadu, which is a Dutch craft fair. So um, it's not just about knitting and crochet, it's about all different kinds of crafts. Um, like there was also a stand with puzzles and uh, coloring pencils and scrapbooking and cupcakes and yeah. So lots and lots of crafts, lots of inspiration. And I was there at the Scapey stand. So Scapey is the Dutch yarn company that sponsors me. Uh, I'm part of their blogger team. And they have just, well not just, I think it's a couple weeks ago, uh, they came out with the new bookazine, Scapey Yarn 12, which was um, the romance issue. And I've actually loaned my copy to my mom, but um, on, on the back cover of Knitter here, <laughs> you can see the front cover of Escape Peace Yarn Romance, and it is just gorgeous. It is, uh, if you love rich jewel tones and beautiful embroidery and intricate details and yeah, all that good stuff then you will love this. There are some amazing, amazing projects in here. And uh, so at the stall yesterday, and um, so I was just there yesterday at the Creadu, and um, the fair is still running until Sunday. And each day, so each of the five days, uh, a different Scapies blogger will be there. Uh, so, the, so today is Esther's turn from It's All in a Nutshell, tomorrow is Kirsten from Hagmarag, and then in the weekend there are Nerissa from Miss Neris and Yelena from Yelena Creations. And the stand was just beautifully decorated. We had loads of mannequins with the garments from Yarn Bookzine. Uh, loads of beautiful decorations, um, big, big posters, um, and a huge uh, yarn tasting table. Um, actually, when, when I was typing yarn, yarn tasting, uh, the autocorrect wanted me to type yarn testing. And actually, it is a kind of yarn testing because you get to test the yarn, but you know, test and taste, I think it, it's very much alike. But Aside from that, you know, I'm a language geek, so <laughs> so these kinds of things just pique my interest. But um, so there, there were yarn tasting tables where you could try out a bunch of different KPC yarns uh, with a crochet hook or with knitting needles, and uh, there was a, a small pattern that you can make, and it was just loads and loads of fun. And I have just a little bit <laughs> of Creadu footage. Um, so I will put that in right here. Um, so I have some videos of the stand and I plan to take many more videos, but I just didn't. I just, yeah, <laughs> it was, I'll talk about it later. It was very, very fun. Um, and uh, lots of people came to visit me at the stand as well. And I have some snippets of us just waving at the camera and I thought that was really fun to put in here. So enjoy and I'll meet you back in a couple minutes. <laughs> I'm at the Kreado today. I don't know if you can hear me, but <laughs> oh my god, look, it's my face. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty cool. And I get to play with Lego. You see that?
but yes, I said I'm taking a slow day today because yesterday has really drained my energy. <laughs> I am a true introvert and while I may seem like Super, I am super enthusiastic. I mean, I will say that. Um, oops, sorry, that was my Bluetooth speaker. So while I may seem like super bubbly and, you know, I am kind of, but uh, like uh, <laughs> social interactions also kind of uh, drain my battery. So you have to recharge today. Um, but yes, it was super fun. Uh, I love that so many people came to visit. Um, yeah, and I, I also saw Mark, uh, Mark Hoseboom for the first time. Uh, he's a Dutch uh, crochet designer and he just published his first book last year. Um, so now he's doing a kind of book tour uh, because I, he didn't get to do that last year. So super fun to meet him. Um, I got to see Alexa again from Ami Lishley, um, who's just always doing super cool designs. And I'll, I'll put some pictures of the designs up while I'm talking about them. So it was just really, really nice to see them. And also I saw Luz again from Freubelweb. Um, and she also has her own publishing company now, uh, Livre de Louise, so Books by Louise. Um, yeah, and it's just always, always so nice to see her. So, um, it really was super nice just reconnecting with these people. And then, of course, the amazing people at the Scapey Stand, the Scapey staff. Uh, some of them I got to meet for the very first time. We had only been emailing. <laughs> uh, so that was a lot of fun. And Matt was there, who you might know from A Boy and Bunting or from Crojo Life. Uh, and that is his current handle on Instagram, Crojo Life. Also, check out his Instagram stories because he has the cutest dog, Pebbles. Yeah, but it was just amazing fun, and today I'm just still very happy just thinking about yesterday and all the brilliant people I got to see. Um, yeah, so um, I want to show you what I have been crafting, and I'm kind of wondering where to start. Uh, so I'll just start with what's in front of me, and that is what I was making yesterday at the stand. So if you saw me, you might have seen me working on this. So I have made, I'll show you first, and then give you a couple of seconds to um, decide what they are. So I've made some tiny projects uh, in Scipio's Secret Garden, which is the red-purple-ish yarn. It's a, a variegated yarn. So there's lots of colors in there. And the yellow is Scipio's Metropolis in the sole um, colorway. And this is beautiful. Uh, it's just the perfect mustard yellow and it matches so well with this yarn. And so I'm knitting corrugated rib. So all of the knit stitches are Scapia's Secret Garden and all of the pearl stitches are Scapia's Metropolis. And so I'm gonna <laughs> say what they are now. They are not hats, they are pumpkins for my pumpkin wreath. So I, I think these will actually be a separate thing because they are uh, such different colors. So I think I want to leave this one as it is for now. Um, I've added a couple since you saw it last. So this one, this is also Scapey's Metropolis. This one is a fun cabled one, and then this kind of like a butternut squash. Yeah, so this was already hanging at my door, so I just took it off to show you. Uh, because it's just a couple days until Halloween. And I wouldn't even be here, so I hope um, people will be able to see it. Um, and these are also going to be pumpkins, uh, but they are not finished yet because I didn't have any filling with me while I was at the stand. So I'm going to be filling them and then also cinching them at the, at the bottom and like putting a stalk on it. Um, and this will be a bigger one. So this one, uh, I just 
thread it through all of the stitches and I will be pulling that one tight. Um, yeah, and now I am working on the fourth one. So I am using a circular knitting needle, but you can also use DPMs, so the short double pointed needles. Um, and with this one, the contrast is a little bit less uh, visible because um, the Keep Your Secret Garden is variegated and it's now at like kind of this stage. So I'm using the center thread, but it kind of matches the color you see on the outside here. Um, so yeah, but uh, I love this. Uh, they will make for a beautiful set. As you know, I, I've just cast this on and it continues from the color here. And this one stays from here and then, um, yes. <laughs> so they will make a beautiful set and I think I'm just going to place them outside. Maybe like sew them together so they don't fall apart or anything. Uh, and then place them in somewhere in the front garden. I think I will do that. Um, yeah, so that has been really fun. Oh, and I am using a 3.5 millimeter needle for uh, Secret Garden and Metropolis together. Momo has just woken up from her nap. Hey, Momo. Okay. I don't think she'll be joining us. <laughs> I think she'll be going downstairs. Uh, yeah, so that was project one, the pumpkin wreath, and then the second project uh, I cast on at the stand was also with Escapes Metropolis. Um, I cast on for a new sock, and right now it's just a plain toe, so there's not much to see yet. Um, so just a plain toe, and this is uh, the colorway Copenhagen, which is 66. Of Metropolis and I'm doing a pointy toe this time so uh, usually I do a rounded toe which means I increase for the first four rounds but here I just start alternating between increase rounds and play knitting rounds straight away um, just like this is the exact same toe from the uh, simple toe up socks videos so if you've seen those this is the exact same. Um, and so you can see some socks drying here. They are the lace socks that I showed you last time and I'm doing another pair of lace socks. I'm actually thinking of making them knee high this time, but uh, I'll have to see if that works with the lace chart that I have in mind because uh, I don't want there to be like noticeable um, lines in the lace so um, like where the increases are so we'll have to see um, how that works but yeah I love this color so far and it gives me real like cottage core vibes um, this kind of brown kind of like a hazelnut color and yeah I think it would look really great uh, I have some green tights so kind of um, like a bluish green. Mm, not sure how to. Maybe maybe kind of like the dark spots in the plant here. Kind of like kind of like that green. Uh, and I have some burgundy tights, and I think these would look amazing over those. So I'll keep you updated on that. And for these, I am using Chow Gu, which I highly highly recommend to any knitter and especially beginner knitters because. These needles are a gift from heaven, uh, and um, and why? Uh, it's because the join, uh, where you go from the cable to the needle, this is very smooth. So when you uh, push them back into the stitches, you, you know whether when you move them, it's um, yeah, it's just really easy. Um, and that's what you want if you're knitting socks on a magic loop. And they are size 2.25 millimeter needles. So I'll just put that back in my bag right now. 
and I hope to be knitting on it some more the next weekend. I think I'll take them with me uh, because I'll be going on a yarn cruise. So a knitting and crochet cruise, which is organized by um, Wool of Fame. They are a Dutch yarn store um, here in Maasbracht. And yeah, so we're going on a four day yarn cruise um, from Saturday to Tuesday. So I'm very excited about that. About that. Uh, so you'll see more about that in my next podcast. And then next week as well, I will be teaching my very first workshop of the season, which will be for the Finn hat. And I created a new sample, especially for this workshop. So this is the Finn hat. It is a stranded colorwork hat with three colors. And the original is Inscapius Namaste. And this one is Inscapius Chunky Monkey. Let me just put it on for you. I made this one a little shorter by accident. I should have done one more of those zigzags right at the top. But I forgot where I was too eager to cast it off because last weekend uh, I was on a boat and it was very, really cold um, and I really wanted to wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> so I really wanted it to be finished uh, and so I forgot part of the pattern but still it fits me um, let me just show you the pattern I never know if I'm showing it properly <laughs> I guess I'll see that when I'm editing but um, yeah and it's it's super super soft um, I mean I, I love the samples that I made with Scapies Namaste but this one is just it uh, it's almost like whatever um, fiber you make a hat out of it will always be itchy so Namaste uh, is part wool so it's it's it just after a while it gets a little bit itchy on my forehead um, but this one doesn't so that is really nice um, even though I I like natural fibers best this is acrylic but um, yeah if you're looking for a really like non itchy hat then this is it so the thin hat I will be teaching several workshops and the first one is next week on November 5th uh, so that's a Friday and I will be teaching it on uh, at Happy Crafts in Zwolle, uh, which is like a two hour drive for me, but um, it's fine because I love teaching workshops. Um, so we will be using Scapey's Junkie Monkey and I have my yarn right here. I've reballed these because, and that's probably the only thing I don't like about Scapey's Junkie Monkey is that it wants to fall apart so um, yeah I've I've reballed these because they were just collapsing um, yeah but it's it's such chunky yarn so it's really quickly to knit up so uh, I think if I knit another hat with these that um, I will have used most of it uh, so on one ball you get 100 grams and that is 116 meters and it says it's iron weight um, and I think that's about right iron weight it's 100% acrylic um, and you can wash it on 40 degrees and this is colorway mist and then this is teal and this is ochre and I just love these colors together so I used the teal for the main color of this hat and ochre as the first contrast color and mist as the second contrast color and you only need a little bit for the second one um, second contrast color uh, and you can even do it with just two colors then uh, here this stitch here these ones would be in the ochre one the ochre color and this little cross here would be teal so you can totally do that um, I just thought it was fun to use three colors in one design so yes that's the fin hat uh, so the first workshop is November 5th 
uh, next week and then I have another workshop I think on December 10th in Harlem and December 15th in Deinze. Um, in Harlem that, that one is also at Happy Crafts and the one in Deinze is at Atelier 9A. Um, yeah, so I I made a hat and I plan to make another one. Uh, and I'm going to use this one as the main color there because I have most of this one. I Technically, I mean, I have to weigh this and see if I still have 50 grams left because I might be able to make one more with um, the main color as this one. But I think to switch it up, I'm just going to use this one as the main color. So yeah, and, and these just work up really quickly. Um, I started this one on an afternoon, um, just knitted ab about an hour on it, and I finished it the next day in two more hours. So you could do that in one afternoon. Um, if you uh, don't get bored or don't get distracted. Um, yeah, so that was a super quick project and I just love making hats because they are so quick and easy um, and you get to try new techniques um, because, you know, it's a hat. It's, it's going to be quick anyway and if it doesn't fit, no worries. I mean, it's not like you've invested 40 hours into a sweater. Um, so if, if you want to try cables or color work, I really advise to start with a hat. I'm talking about hats. I have another color work hat design, which is the home hat, which I published last year. This is a free pattern on my blog. You can also get it as a paid PDF. Just, you know, if you don't want any ads or if you want a compact, uh, easy to print version, then my PDFs are the one to get. So this is the home hat and um, quite a while ago I saw that one of my testers, Gabriela, had knitted some mittens to go with her home hat and I thought that's a great idea uh, because you know lots of people like their gloves uh, or mittens to match with their hat and I don't have any uh, mitten patterns um, to go with any of my hat designs. So I thought better change that. So I cast on for a mitten and I've almost finished the first one. I just have to figure out how to um, do the thumb because I think I need to frog it back just one more time. Um, so yeah, here is the mitten to go with my home hat. So I am completely in love with it. And uh, you can see that I ran out of the kind of like burgundy, like wine red. Um, I just couldn't find it anymore. So I think I used it all. Uh, that one is Bogota. Uh, which I think is um, colorway number 50 of the... This is all Scapis Metropolis. So Scapis Metropolis 50, Bogota. Uh, so I uh, swapped it with just the, uh, the cuff color, which... Um, oh, I think I've forgotten which one that is. But all of the colors are in the pattern for the home hat. Um, and yeah, so I've used most of them here. I made some slight tweaks to the um, chart patterns. Uh, this one is a little bit different than the one here. And uh, I made some changes um, to where I increase for the thumb just so, you know, it looks nice and I'm not ending on like half a um, square somewhere. So yeah, um, I just figured some things out to make it look nice. That's basically what I'm saying. Um, and then so I made it from the rib up and then here I did basically a toe, <laughs> a cuff down toe. Um, and now I'm figuring out the thumb 
um, because I think I need to make it a little bit longer than I had planned. Um, yeah, and I, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, I've never really knit mittens, uh, so I've just, in the Yarn 12 bookazine, there's a mitten pattern of mine. I'll put a proper picture up on the screen right now, the Miller mittens, and those are the first pair of mittens that I designed, and um, it was more difficult than I anticipated, to be honest. Uh, I thought, oh, it's just like a sock with a thumb, right? But uh, it there was more to it than that. Um, so, yeah. But I'm really, really happy with these. And I want to make loads more. So I'm going to make the second one. Well, I'm going to finish the thumb first. And then I'll make the second one. And I'm planning to just film all of that for my Patreon page so that you will have just a complete uh, video tutorial of these mittens on my Patreon page. So my Patreon page, I kind of see it as my paid for YouTube channel because uh, it's a paid subscription, uh, although it starts at just five, uh, five I want to say five dollars, um, but it's more like five euros a month. Um, and then you can choose which benefits you want. So you get exclusive tutorial videos, you get free downloadable patterns, you get uh, lots of videos from a designer point of view. So you can you can choose which of the benefits that you want. Um, and I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be revamping it soon because um, um, I want the uh, I'm just I'm just going to be renaming the the tier name so you can subscribe at three levels right now and I want to rename them to uh, apple varieties that my grandpa used to grow in his orchard so my grandpa was a uh, he, he had a fruit farm he had lots of mostly apples also pears plums uh, walnuts gooseberries um, you know, lots of fruits that I don't really know the um, English uh, name for. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was most known for his apples. And uh, so I think I kind of want to rebrand to that uh, because, um, yeah, uh, I, I kind of want to honor my grandpa in that way. And he taught me lots about plants. He was always telling me what kind of flowers or herbs were growing on the side of the road. And, you know, if, if I got stung by a stinging nettle, then he would teach me, again, I don't know the English word, but, oh, this is home stuff, and you can rub it between your hands and then rub it on the, the spot, and then the stinging will go away. And, yeah, just kind of those small tidbits, like nature um, facts. And, uh, yeah, uh, I inherited his love for plants. Um, so, uh, yeah. I think I think it matches really well with new leaf designs and it's such a huge part of who I am so I want to I want my patreon page to reflect that as well um, yeah just uh, <laughs> yeah and uh, I think I'm also gonna gonna design a couple of color work patterns with apples in them but I, I have to um, I still have to work on the apple pattern because right now the way I made it, it looks like a butterfly, which is also nice, but I wanted it to look like an apple. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of a <laughs> backstory there. But uh, if you want to knit these mittens and you prefer to have a video instead of just a written pattern, then you can join my Patreon page because I will have the entire tutorial video on there. So yeah, that concludes my projects that I have for you for this week. Um, I just, I'm really, really excited about this one because I think it looks great. Um, oh, and I haven't yet told you about what I'm wearing. So, um, can you say you wear a shawl? I think so. Uh, this is my Cozy Moments shawl and I brought it to the Creadu with me yesterday and it got a lot of love. Um, so it is a knitted shawl. It's a knitting design of mine. You can find it on my website as the Cozy Moments Shawl. And it has eight different lace patterns. 
and this is um, with Scapius Woolly Whirl. So um, it's it's just a little bit different than the regular Scapius Whirl because the regular Whirl has cotton and acrylic, and the Woolly Whirl the Woolly Whirl has wool and cotton. Um, and it is the colorway 473. I wrote that down many times yesterday. Uh, colorway 473 Kiwi Drizzle. And yeah, I just love it very much. And um, I love that the colors are very, very subtle. It's very wearable. Um, you know, you can also go for color pops with Scapey Swirl, but if you like a more subdued, a more subtle color palette, then, you know, the Kiwi Drizzle is really, really nice. Um, so yes, I think that is all that I have for you today. Um, please do join my Facebook group if you haven't already. So I'll put the link down below for the Facebook group. You can post about things that you're making. We have knit alongs and our current knit along, which is the shoe matching sock along, is actually ending this Sunday on Halloween, actually, um, October 31st. Um, and I will be thinking of a new make along soon. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any ideas for that. Um, Yes, I, I think that is all. I probably forgot to say something. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And if you visited me yesterday at the Credu, thank you so much. You totally made my day. Um, and I hope to see you soon in one of my podcast videos or one of my tutorial videos or on Instagram or in my Facebook group or wherever. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel here, please also do that. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!